give it a minute to start broadcasting and get any notifications out. And to start showing up on my stream manager, because that's usually when I can start being heard, I think. And give it a minute to load up the world as well. If the world will load up, let's try. Stream manager still won't get me my. There we go, there's the update. Stream manager's working, so it should be pretty fairly up. And notifications will send out in a second. Um, welcome back to the stream again. Uh, today is going to be village focused mostly. I'm going to try to figure out a basis of where I'm going to want the wall and how I'm going to want it so that I can keep the villagers safe inside of it. Because my worry is if I start extending it in this direction, the villagers are going to start picking up on like job blocks over here or beds and things and they're going to start wandering and I'd rather not. So I'm going to have to start like building an outline and then I'll just fill it in with houses, I think. Either that or I'll build a few more houses now. I don't know. But, either way, we gotta make progress on the village today, um, and we can do some updates about what's going on uh, while we do that, I think. So I'm thinking size-wise, because I want so many more builds, I'm gonna have to go pretty big on it. It's gonna have to go in this direction a little bit more, I think, and maybe even uh, put some stuff here, and try to make a platform up here to use, like over here or something, put a house, um, use this platform some, and maybe even this platform some, um, and add a few more things up here. We should have enough room to build quite a bit, because um, we can fill up this platform here and then those couple platforms, so I'll start by filling in like this region, and then if I have to I can move down this way. Um, I still have all the photos of the things I wanted to add, I'll have to dig them up on my phone. Um, yeah, so I should be able to do that. So I'm gonna have to take some stuff to do that with. There's some dirt. Um, for now I'll put the curing stuff back, uh, because I don't need it right this second. I think I'd rather finish it before I get curing done. So let's just take all the stuff we need for building that we were working with. Um, and let's get some builds going, I think. Sounds about correct. I'll need some bricks for the build that I was going to do, and I'll probably need some more glass, so maybe we need to start this on the smelting. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Um, so yeah, there's a few updates to do as far as talking about things that have been going on and things like that. Um, I might lure some animals into these pens, honestly. I'm thinking the like market thing that I wanted, I'll put here. Just because it'll look better down here. I gotta find my photos up here again. Um, yesterday was pretty intense. I did mention on Monday I wouldn't be streaming because of the uh, appointment that I had. Uh, but it definitely ended up being a little more intense than I thought I signed up for. Um, but it is what it is. So I'm going to create the... Uh, but I mean everything is going to be pretty intense with the fact of dealing with mental health and diagnostics and things, so... It was partially to be expected, it was just a little bit more than I initially expected, is all. Um, Something like that. Good thing I have an extra shovel. Uh, something like this, I guess. Um, and then we're gonna do... Uh, basically a big pattern in here. Uh, where we build the... 
I need some wool and some yellow wool. Um, so yeah, so that was about an hour long of pretty intense psychoanalysis stuff. Um, where I ended up coming out with quite a few more diagnoses and some more that they, I guess, need to work on or think on or whatever, depending on the situation. Um, yeah. So, um, both a good and a bad thing, considering that some things came out, like, decently helpful and some things are just like, why do I even bother? I need six foot. Uh, you six yellow wool. Um, but it's progress, and I'll take progress at least. Let's take this and this and make some more pink dye with red and white. Red dye, red dye. Red dye, and then pink dye, and then I need another white dye, which means I need another bone. And I need more pink dye, which means I need to drop the pink dye I have to make more. Ay -ay -ay. There we go. And then we can put this away and we should be able to fix that. Okay. And then let's take the glass we have. Make glass panes. And make glass panes that are stained pink. Fair enough. Let's put the excess back in here. Um, we only need six white wool, so we can take out just six. Alright, and we're gonna need to sleep. I took my first dose before playing, so I don't know how any of my meds will impact me or impact, um, my function, so fair warning, this stream might be cut a little short. Nixie, get over here now. Hey, come here. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Don't be a big baby just because you got in trouble. You're fine. You are fine. You are fine. Yes, you are fine. You will go run and play later. Yeah, you will. Right. No, I don't need mouth kisses. I'll kiss you on the head. But you don't need to kiss my mouth. Oh, puppy dog. Um, but yeah, I have two meds that to take now, and uh, one of which starts off on a half dose, the other starts off straight on the dose that I started on. Pretty small dose. Um, for both, even the full dose of the one that I'm only on a half dose now is pretty small. Um, just kind of to get things started and see how it impacts me. Stop throwing that. That's a chew toy, not a throw toy. It's very heavy and it doesn't feel nice. Lay down and chew. Lay down and chew. I'm holding on to it until you lay down because you're going to throw it at me again. But um, the one that I'm on a half dose of could cause drowsiness, so I'm supposed to take it later on in case it does cause any issues. No! Nixie, stop! That is a hard toy and it hurts when you throw it on me. Lay down. Thank you. Now chew it laying down. She has uh, quite a few new toys since I went out, and I got her a lot of new toys again. And she's thinking that she can throw toys that she can't. How far apart was this? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten about. Okay. So do this as the middle ish and then well that'd be kinda useless. I guess we could do it right here and just do it like sideways. So we'll do it like one. I wrote down the dimensions for those as well. Four one. Okay. Two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Hi, welcome. How are you doing? I'm working on the village and curious how my meds are going to impact the stream. How are you? I was just talking about the new meds that I'm on and how that would be impacting the schedule. It isn't really that much, it's just a matter of how it impact functioning levels. I feel that. Two. There is no need to have a partner reveal. Why? He's been on stream before. Perfect amount of wool. No, not like that. There we go. And then there was a wooden platform like here-ish for a bevel to be put on, even though I don't need one. Then we'll need some cobble to fill in some spots. I don't know when. It was a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago. But it was on the other Minecraft world. I don't know why you're so interested, is my question. Like that, I guess. Do one there underneath the post, and one here. to there's a bunch of like big pathing path so I can do a bunch of pathing path that looks about right and then we'll do Something like that, I guess. Of a pathing to get to this. And we'll do that. And leave it like that for now. Um. That's one thing done, so I don't need any more of those, because I just wanted one of those. Um, I can delete that photo. I can delete the damn blank photos that messed up 
because I don't need them. I thought the photos I took were blank because they didn't take when they were supposed to. Let's do the, um, <clears throat> the, like, church building. I'm losing my voice, I don't know why. Let's do the church building. We can do it, like, right here, honestly. Um. We'll do it, like, right here, because we can cut it into the mountain a little. Three, and then how far we're going. Two, three, close. And then we can just cut this back some. Right, and then dip. I'll have to get stained glass for that to do a different color. Or I could just do pink and white. Um, yeah, Nixie's around somewhere. I didn't take a picture of the back of the church, but I'm assuming it's the same as the front, just without a door. Probably has glass, though. I don't know. Um, I need stairs and walls, and I don't have stairs. Did I put a crafting table down? I didn't, I don't think. Did something happen? What do you mean? Mm, like that, and then we can get these, and then we can do... I'm losing my voice slightly. And not really, yesterday was just stressful, not particularly sad. Mm, let's do one, two, three, three, like this, and then there was wood around it. side where's the side the side is just there's gonna be two windows right there and then there's gonna be the frame Nixie get out of there now get up and lay down get up and lay down now now what's your question Get up and lay down. Lay down. Thank you. What's the question? Let's do... Yeah, I am a parent to Mixie. That is kind of the whole job description of owning a pet. I'll do a window on the back too, even though I don't remember what the back was like on it. Um, how did the roof go up front? It was like, these were holes, so it was like this. Um, I started streaming as a way to be able to talk through things going on in my head and uh, distract myself from my mental issues, <laughs> to be honest. And then I just kept streaming, and somehow I ended up finding like 20 people that actually listen to my streams, and 
find some form of my streams interesting. And then it became kind of I was interested in getting goals on the stream uh, platform and the like different achievements you can get and things. Uh, but I haven't gotten many of those, so it's just kind of a vibe now. Nixie, get over here, please. Now. This is not how you behave. Nixie, get over here. And Lou, get off. My pets want to drive me insane today. Get off the counter. You know better. Stop. You, couch, now. Here's a toy. Lay down and chew. Ugh. I have to somehow make the way that they did this window and it doesn't make sense to me. I think it's like this. see the way that it was made. And then this. But I need the other upside down one here. Like this, I think. And it probably just connects like that so that it can continue. So, um, I can't see, it looks so weirdly contoured. So, a normal one, upside down, right side up. Down, right side up, middle, connect, connect, like this, and then like this. There's so many zombies down there, what the heck? That, and like that, and then there'll be the top platform, and then do a normal one, an upside down one, an upside down one, right side up. Not like that. Right side up. Centered. And then like this. This is really intensely focusing to do. I am very confused by this concept. Of a roof. It's probably not even accurate, given that I didn't take accurate enough images of the roof itself before I left it. This side doesn't even matter since it's not visible, but it would bug me if knowing that it wasn't even, I assume. This is just going to be filled in normally. It's probably a false assumption given that these builds are quite complicated at times. But I'm just going to fill it in like this and then I'm going to make a full block and a uh, slab to make it look like it fits in. Or actually just a full block to be honest.
I'm surprised at how many zombies are following me. Oh, I miss chats. Um, Jesus. I'm trying to read chats and I can't aim. I've talked about Luke quite a few times. Um, let me finish this. from spawning on it. And then we're gonna make a run for the bed because this isn't gonna work out. <clears throat> I've talked about all my pets quite a few times. There's Nixie the puppy and then Lucy the cat, and then I haven't talked about the other pet very often, but there's also Togo the ferret. Um, I talked about him in early streams when I was introducing my animals because one of them was pestering me, so I need to have a need to introduce everyone else at the same time. I do the inside of this though. I tried to take a picture but I didn't succeed because it's not on my phone. I think it just had like the little seat pew type things. Do I have more? No I don't. And then I think it was just like this. Probably four. And then there was just nothing here. I think this was like a blank to be honest. But I'm not sure. Ooh, not that. Uh, do you... Planks. one window. That looks better. Put some of the stained glass in even though I'll need some of the like plain glass to alternate it with. And there we go, that's the church building. Add the door in. There we go. Now it has a church. Good. Alright, I can delete those because I don't need them. I need to start deleting the photos that I don't need. I already did one of the little porch buildings. I don't need more than one of those. Especially since it's quite awkward to fit actual beds in. I might do another one of the big tall ones for sake of more bed space. I need one of these stone ones, but I don't know if I have enough terracotta for it. I don't think I will. I'll have to make terracotta. I don't remember how to make terracotta. Clay blocks, okay. So let's go get some clay real quick as a break. Go find some clay. I mean, ferrets are capable of making noise, but no, it doesn't talk. Do not talk. I'm going pretty far for clay because I've already scoured most of the local area for clay, so... Oh, this is a nice little lava pool. That's useful. Get some rest. Take care.
this. Okay. Thank you. Guess I'm. I need clay and I don't see any. I'm just gonna follow this water. That's a big underwater cave, that's why there's no clay there. And there's some. We need clay for both bricks and for terracotta. That's a decent start. We need some more though. I'm not gonna take any from like the bottom of the river because I don't want to have to spend ages trying to mine it. I want to be able to stand on the solid ground so that it doesn't take as long to mine it. Look at these spots. That drone doesn't know what he's doing. Now he figured it out and he's after me. Too bad I'm still walking away. A little over a stack. I've gotten so far from home though. There's gotta be some closer to home. I think. I can also buy brick. Off of that, we have I had to get those squids if I black dye for anything right now, but I don't think I do. This is quite a bit of expansive area that I can make into more projects for sure. For now we gotta focus on the village project, because I need villagers. And I'm, I was gonna that's only like I want to wall it around. I should build it before I build the wall so that they aren't wandering. Because I have a feeling they'll pick up on, if they walk far enough away, they'll pick up on that bed or this bed, and then they'll be over here. And we don't need them over here. That's only 26 more terracotta blocks. Ugh. But oh well, it is what it is. And I'm going to make a couple white stained glass panes to offset the... Can I just do it with two or do I have to make a bunch of them? I have to make a bunch of them, don't I? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I'll make one batch of them. I need white dye to do it. I'll just make eight because I don't need a bunch of it. put the pins back already. I was like, why does it tell me I don't have pins? Oh, I just put them back. Intelligence at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. My brain did a full pause to figure out why it didn't put me in those. I need these to stay in the terracotta because the terracotta needs stain to be yeah, it needs to be white to be the right color for what we're doing for the village. So let's let that uh, smell. Let's put these into the windows. Anyways, four. Did 
Ta-da. Nice fancy little church thing. I like the old school churches a little better, honestly. Nixie, are you okay? <laughs> Nixie girl, what are you? Hi. Um, sometimes I wish I could show things on stream that are around me because she was, uh, we got her a new rope toy and she loves rope. But she, I looked over and she was just sitting there with the rope in her mouth, staring at absolutely nothing, like with the most blank expression on her face. Get back to my thing. There we go. Alright. I had to get back to my stream manager on my phone since I'm not using a photo reference right now. I'm just waiting for this to finish smelting so I can keep building, even though it's not going to really make that much of a difference how much terracotta I have, sadly. So, there's only one more like terracotta main build that I wanted to make, which was the stonemason house. I think the village is starting to look nice. It looks like a normal village from far enough away. I also probably should start like journaling or at least keeping some notes of my mental state uh, for the day now that I have two different meds they're starting at me on so I have some information for the follow up next month. Right now it doesn't particularly feel any different but meds take a while to set in. And also it'll take multiple days for the one that I take during the day. It'll probably take multiple days for it to become a genuine impact. I was going to have caffeine, but caffeine probably would make that, um, like, ten times more effective. So. For now, no caffeine today. Okay. We have two extra terracotta that didn't get dyed. That's fine. Now we have almost a stack of terracotta, so let's hope that'll work good enough for the time being. It's starting to come together quite well. We can probably put another bed of, uh, we can put another plant bed right here. You're lucky I just punched you. It like goes against all of my better judgment just doing these like really plain builds and stuff, but that's how a lot of villagers are, so. We'll do another one of the simple little cobblestone based houses, I think. Right here. Or I do a terracotta one, but I don't have enough terracotta for that one and the other one I want to do, I think. We could do the simple wood based ones. I don't know if those still exist in the normal version of Minecraft, but like the old school ones. Do we have enough space for it? I think so, if we expand this a little bit. Like this. I think if we do that, then we should have enough space for it, like right here. Do like a corner post here, here. Mm, I'm not sure if we have enough space for it. It's kind of 
keeping it awful close, but it would work. And I don't need these if I'm putting that there. At least I don't need that one. I can leave this one up. Let's do the cobblestone rim. This one's based off of memory because it's more based off of the old school ones. Cobblestone rim and then wood. Based or if they had the regular ones. We'll do stair based. This one's pretty much a hand built one because of the fact that it's not based off of any of the templates that I have. Let's not do it like that actually. Two upside downs. Okay, get me back up top. I actually make some more stairs first. Upside down and right side up pattern seems to be fairly common enough on these builds that it'll fit in okay to do it like this. We'll just do it shorter though. So it's just like this and then we'll do like a slab or an inside stair like this. A little too plain for my liking of my normal builds, but oh well. Let's do watch me get down and hate this build and just completely destroy it because it's awful looking. I wouldn't put it past me, honestly. We'll do slabs so that mobs can't spawn on top of it. That worked excellently. Not. Ugh, that's not even the right height. To get back up there somehow. So we'll take out this post if that's going to be there. It looks so bad. I don't like it. But I spent this much effort building it and it's another bed so it's going to stay there evidently. Because why not? It's more effort to take it back down than it is just to leave it. I'll do a cobblestone floor for this one. I 
going to do one of the little tables. And then do glass in the windows. Put. I don't like that. I'm trying to use torches in the most strategic ways where they're mostly based off builds so that they don't have to be everywhere at once. I'm thinking. I don't know for sure. It's a bad build even by the standards of but That's a nice build. We need as many as we can get. It's about time to sleep again. Melon seeds and melon seeds. Why does he have two different sets? We don't have a case of sap. jungle sounds in my head for some reason. We need acacia. Come back. Come back, it's night time and you're gonna get killed. Come back. I'm only gonna buy two. I don't need that many of them. I should get return on the saplings. Sleep. <sighs> also, once I finish this, the uh, Wall I construct around it's going to be very, very basic. It's just going to be a straight cobblestone wall that's tall enough to keep them in. Um, because I don't have the energy to do the entire really detailed wall I want to do. And I just want to get the village started and then over time I can mess with the wall and add to it and things. But in order to get the wall started, I have to finish building the villager houses. But let's build a house here. Let's edit this a little bit so it blends a little better. And then let's build a house right here. Um, I might even. The one I want to build, build should probably be put so it's facing the pathway. So what if I build it like with the back here and the front here and then bring the path around. Yeah, I'll do it that way. So let's see the back of this one. Um, it has cobblestone as a base, but I need to know the dimensions, so I'm going to have to use some wood on top. So cobblestone. So this is one corner. Let's do its one window, one window. One and then wood. One window, one window. Okay. And then the side is just the normal one, two, three. 
wood. And then it does extend out to more It does extend out to more for the porch part. And then the front has the porch across like this. And then we have the doorway, which I need a another stair for. I'm making the cobblestone stairs in small batches since I don't need them that often. And then we have fences like this. And the actual frame of the house will go across and one past this and then the wood. Looks about right. And there's going to be a dirt block here with trap doors around it. We'll have to make trap doors. I'll we'll have to go get more wood pretty soon, actually. Let me just leave the crafting table down here while I'm working. Perfect. And we'll put a peony instead of a yellow flower because we have one. Alright, now we need terracotta, and we need to finish that. I don't remember what the floor was inside. I'm gonna do wood since it's gonna be a lot of pretty intense. Uh, cobblestone and stuff from the outside. Now, uh, we need, the door's gonna be here, there's gonna be a window here, so let's build around those. Perfect. And then there's a beam across, and there's another layer of terracotta where it's open and visible. And then we have just like this, because the roof goes down low on this side. And the back is going to be the same concept, where it's terracotta up a ways. And there's windows every other block. Like this. And then we have the wooden post beam across. And then we have... We might actually have enough terracotta to finish this. Nice. Alright, let's start on the roof. The roof starts pretty low on this side. It goes pretty low on this side. For whatever reason. Where does it start on the front? So I know where I'm starting. I'm gonna need a lot more stairs than I currently have. Alright. It starts off of I think this one it starts upside down right here Which is why it ends up so low on the sides over here, because it starts so low. How is the battery level already low on this thing? This thing's battery does not like me. Alright, let's do it that way then. Let's get the upside down one right there. Right? I think so. Yeah. Right side up.
I don't know how many upside down right side up ones it does. It looks like it goes pretty high, so I think it just goes until it connects. Yeah, like right here. And then... It has the full block like it normally does. So that's why there's more terracotta. It's right here. Alright, and let's do that on the other side. And then let's connect across these so we don't need these posts because we have to connect the stairs across. I'm going to run out of stairs again. Can I reach the crafting table from you? Yes, I can. We're definitely going to have to go get more wood in a minute. Wood does not last long with this project. like that. There we go. Now we just have to finish the insides to look good. Let's do um, the door. As I say, do I not have a door? I do. I have one left. Let's do uh, the windows and I think we're gonna finish this off with more terracotta to make it look right inside. Good thing we have enough anyways. And let's do some torches inside so that we have enough torch light. So that mobs don't spawn in here. Perfect. Let's do a torch outside on the door. Let's do a torch on the corner here. We'll do two torches like this to keep some mobs away and we'll do two torches like to keep some mobs away. There we go, and then we can finish the pathing after we sleep. Although we're probably gonna sleep and go get some more wood after we sleep, since we'll be in this direction anyways. So let's sleep, let's pack everything into the chest, and then go get some more wood, because we need it. We're running low. But that's good, that's one more build that we wanted to include that I can delete the photos of, because I don't need it anymore. Oh, the floor was special. I took a photo of the floor. Oh well, I did it as uh, differently, but that's fine. Alright, let's put some stuff away. We're gonna need some wood to be able to get another axe if we run out of an axe. Alright, eat some food. And go find some wood to cut down. Preferably some that it doesn't matter if I don't replant it, because I'd rather not replant right now. So we'll go over to this island where we weren't replanting anyways. Oh, well, there's a bunch of clay. But I can't reach it, really.
Yes, I know this is being sidetracked, but I need the clay for projects, so it's helpful. That's quite a decent patch of clay. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm getting air. Don't drown me, I'm getting air. quite a decent bit of clay. Evidently all I needed to do was come look for some wood and I'd find enough clay for the project. Now we won't be worrying about terracotta if we need to make more terracotta. So that's decent. It's still not that much compared to the amount of terracotta it'll make, but that'll also help with making some bricks for the other house for the blacksmith or whatever it is. The partial reason that the village will be uh, walled in is to keep uh, mobs out, but it's more so to keep the villagers from wandering uh, so that they all stay close to their job blocks and don't find other job blocks that I've used as decoration or find other beds that I've used um, because villagers will wander pretty far from their village, especially after they first start, and especially if we start making quite a few of them in that village area. So keeping a wall is just a lot safer. And then that way if I actually uh, make any, if I accidentally make any of the uh, pillagers angry, hopefully they won't be able to get to them as easily. Why are these all big trees that I'm not going to mess with? But hopefully we can finish the village project today. I'm really hoping I can. I still have a, over an hour that I could stream for. Whether I'll be streaming for it or not, I don't know. But I still have over an hour that I could stream for. So I can technically get the project done if I stay really focused on it. I just want it to be a really big village, so I keep adding to it. I was going to keep the buildings a little bit more spread apart, but I don't really like the blank space when it's not being used for anything. So I've been adding like the other builds in between to try to fill it in some. And that way it makes it a little bit less massive of a wall that I'll have to do since I'll have to use cobblestone. Which will probably use up the majority of my stores of cobblestone from the terraforming project. Would you leave the cat alone? Leave her alone. Nixie, leave her alone. I'll have to make another axe and use that as well because last time we used, uh, last time we got like two or three stacks and it didn't last that long. So I should probably get quite a few stacks so that it'll last the rest of the project and hopefully a little while after the project since I use oak wood fairly often. 
Nixie, leave her alone and come here. Nixie. Thank you. Hey, that doesn't mean bring a toy and walk off. Here. Here. Don't just look at your toy and walk back away. Whoa, these are like combined trees. I knew you could grow them like this, I just didn't know they grew like this in nature at times. I used to grow them like that all the time back when I uh, used to build in creative mode or like build with pretty intense resources a lot because what I'd do is um, make a house and then I'd make a barrier around it using the fact that oak trees would be able to grow side by side by side like that so it'd be like a tree wall all around it. It was always fun to do. Ideally, the village will also have a few trees here and there before the wall, so the wall is going to be quite a big project. I definitely think that the battery in this controller is getting progressively worse. I charged it up to full before I started, and this time it only lasted an hour, which isn't very long <laughs> compared to the two or three hours it used to last. Which is why I hadn't plugged it in yet, because I assumed I had a slight bit longer before it was fully dead, but I assumed wrong. Nixie doesn't consistently drink water, so when she does drink water, she like puzzles it because she's dehydrating herself by not consistently drinking water. I mean, me too. Like, that's, that's a mood, but... I think that's all we're gonna get this time around. Cause mobs are gonna start spawning and going after me, and I don't wanna deal with it. This zombie right here is gonna come into my little hidey hole and hit me. And there's a spider. So let's just get out. Let's just get home.
That's a lot of skillies. That would have been useful, you know, 20 minutes ago. Or not 20 minutes ago, but last stream when I was actually trying to kill skillies fairly frequently to get the arrows for my bow. That's a villager and a baby villager zombie. Both of those would be useful for the project. But I'm not gonna bother right now. I don't even know if you can cure baby villager zombies, can you? I don't know. Yeah, we got quite a few stacks, so we should be good for another little bit on that supply run. Let's take all this stuff back out that we need. And let's get back to building. means we have to make the path around this one. I'm going to build the path out this way. And let it end off on a dead end around like here ish. And then we'll bring it this way to come across the village house right here. I think we'll do another animal pen right here since that's about all that would fit. The animal pens were typically 6x6, six six, but I haven't been listening to that. I've just been building random pens. Whatever works, we'll just build a pen that roughly makes sense in the space most part. This could be the village garden in here. I'll do a little garden in here since I won't do a build in here really, I don't think. I won't be able to terraform it right to make a build work for this little section that's like slanted here. We'll make a couple trees and some stuff, maybe. I don't know, but anyways, let's do another build. Probably right here. What do I want for a build there? Probably another big, tall bed house to have some more villagers able to spawn. So let's do the big, tall bed house. We'll do one, two, three, one. And the back is 
two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. And then we have the door, which I need another one of. I'm just gonna leave the crafting table down while I'm working on this section so that I can just have easy access to making the things that I need. I need cobble to make this. I'll have to mine out the floor to make it cobble. I should have grabbed more cobble while I was over there. Since I'd need quite a bit of it for some more builds. This one uses quite a decent bit of it and I don't have much left. So I'll have to go grab it in a bit. Yep. I'll go grab more cobble. I apologize if the squeaky noise is annoying. It's annoying to me too. But it's the thing that she chews on, so she gets to have it. She has a thing for tearing apart rubber. Considering the toy she's currently chewing on used to be twice its size. At one point in time. No, I don't need that there. Most of this I don't even have to look at the photo that much for. I have it open next to me, but I haven't been looking at it that much because I already built this once. So it's a little easier to remember. And once you get used to building these houses, they all have the same rules anyways. It's always the... 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 for everything. Make some more planks. I need them for this part. A whole stack of planks since I'll need them for this part. Goodness gracious, that squeaking is going to drive me nuts. I apologize. Okay, like that, and then uh, it goes one out. Lou, stop getting up on the counter! 
Good girl, Nixie. It's the only time you're allowed to go after her. We have this funny situation where the uh, dog loves to be the enforcer against the cat when she's in trouble. Um, so if she hears me say the ps noise that the cat's doing something wrong, she will search for the cat and go find her and figure out what she's doing and make her stop. That time I didn't even have to do the ps noise because she heard her get up on the counter and she knows the cat gets in trouble for getting on the counter. So she's like, this is my time to shine. And booked it for the cat. I need more touches. This is to prevent them from being able to spawn up here where there's typically no light. I need the inside picture. Call like this. Let's put uh, the glass in the windows down here so I don't get attacked from things targeting me through the open windows. Alright. Like this. I need more stairs. Problem. Crafting table's right there. I'll just make them real quick. And hide again. And the floor up here is these. I don't think anything will spawn right now because the fact that I'm currently in this building, as far as anything spawning inside because it's not lit enough, but we're about to light it up anyway, so it shouldn't matter that much. Was that a zombie villager? It is. Good god, is it tempting to trap him and cure him, but we're not going to, I don't think. Do things like that. Alright. That's a finished product. Ow. Okay, let's go sleep. I'm trying to make the, the for the most part, I'm trying to make the torches make sense. Um, not all of them are going to, but I'm trying to make most of them make sense so that I can have them kind of built into the setup of the world. Um, which means that I'm being a little cautious about where I place them. Make some more cobblestone stairs because I'm going to need them. For some builds. Alright, so let's go build this next one, which is why I grabbed more cobblestone. This next one is the blacksmith house. It's another bigger house. It's going to be somewhere. Maybe... We might put it right. Actually, um...
Maybe right here or right there. I'm thinking Blacksmith House would probably go right here. Nixie, leave things alone. Blacksmith's house is gonna go here. I think. It should fit here, hopefully. So let's start it. Let's make the doorway. We need it to. Like that. Like this. We need the posts. I need a picture of the side of it. This is an odd house. Mm. It will fit in this space though, which is nice. Let's do the back first. Wait, why does the back seem so much longer? Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, okay, I did... I did a dumb. I put the wrong sides on the wrong things. We're probably going to have to carve into the dirt a little to get it to fit. I was thinking one thing was the side, but it wasn't. So it's... One... Window one... Window one... And then we have the short. No, it is squared. It just doesn't look it in the build project for whatever reason. Interesting. The double window is the back part, so let's do the back. It's gonna do two layers of this. And then... Sideways wood. And then the window, and then uh, cobblestone, and then the roof will be cutting in, so I'll have to do the roof to figure out how that works. And then this side will be the non-chimney side, so this side is going to be two, and then it's going to be uh, this window, which for now will fill in with wood because I need to do a sideways wood there. And then we'll do cobblestone, even though the roof will be covering that part. And then this is the sketchy part, because I didn't get a decent enough photo of it because of the fact that it was covered. So this one's going to be interesting to say the least. It goes... Let's start on the roof, I think, and then we should be able to figure this part out. I'm thinking this is going to be the solution. I need the crafting table. Nixie, come here. I hear you and I don't see you. Get over here. You are upstairs, you jerk. Lay the hell down. Lay down. No going upstairs unsupervised. Um, do this. Okay. Um, no, I don't have PlayStation Plus, so I can't play with people. I apologize. PlayStation Plus is a price that I do not have. down goes here I think. I think it lines up with the edge of the roof. I'll know for sure because I think it covers the top edge of the windows on one side. Yeah it covers the top edge of the windows over here. Mobs 
are spawning. Fantastic. Get out of here. Make that not a staircase for him to climb up anymore. And it's a lightning storm, which could set any of this on fire, so we need to sleep now. This is far too much wood for a lightning storm. Nixie! Oh, there you are, okay. I really want to finish this project. And I don't know if I'll ever finish by my standards of constantly wanting to add to things. But I want to at least finish making one of every one that I took a picture of. At the bare minimum. Because I liked the ones that I took pictures of and I wanted them in my build. Do it like that. What's the roof like? Something seems off. Anyways, um, this side. Goes like this. And then it has like a weird little shelf to be able to cover up the middle part being a chimney type thing. So the middle part was Here, I think. Nixie, leave her alone. Hey. God damn you, dog. Get over here now. I think the cat is her damn toy at all times because the cat is hyper. God forbid the cat's hyper and allowed to be hyper. Trying to figure out how this is set up, and I can't make sense of it. It goes up towards the edge of this, so I'm thinking it's like I'm thinking it's like this, and not. I'm thinking it's like that, and then the stairs go. The stairs get a, like, couch ended one right there. I always call it couch ended for some reason with that style. Right up to the edge, or like that. And then we have... Uh, slabs across. But that's not the right ending. It has to be the... I need a full block so that I can set up the correct ending of the stair there. Because it's like this. Nixie, get- The entire stream is going to be me scolding the damn dog. Because she doesn't know how to behave today. And it's like this. And then we go like this, and the middle one of this is a full cobblestone block that 
carries up to turn into a chimney. Why did I fall off? Hi, welcome to the stream. I'm attempting to build a village from scratch at the moment. It's all the builds that the actual villages have, um, just handmade. And I'm using templates, so it takes me a minute to- well, I'm using handmade templates since I can't find the actual templates for these builds. So it takes me a minute to figure everything out. Hopefully I have enough stairs to finish off this roof without having to go make more. I think I do. <laughs> Thank you. I keep having to mute my mic because I have to talk to the dog over and over again since she's not listening today, but... Speaking of the dog... Yes, that's your toy. You can play with it on your own. You don't need me to play with you for that toy because it's literally just a rope. And you normally chew on it more than anything else. Where's the interior photo I had of this? Okay, so it is a cobblestone floor like I thought. Granted, this normally has cobblestone and mossy cobblestone mixed in. I also forgot to make the uh, stone, the twice melted stone that I need for this build. Whoopsies, I need that. Alright, let's at least get the basic outline done, since I'll need bricks and I'll need the twice melted stone. Uh, we have... like this. And then we have the stairs, cobblestone stairs. Like this. Like this. And like... And then, um, all the way around is the, um, all the way around is the twice smelted stone as a workbench, and we'll put a torch here, and a torch here, and that should be enough, I think. And then, um, there's brick, brick, blast furnace. So let's go make, let's go get the stuff we need to finish that. Oh, hey, a sheep ended up in the... Uh, little pen. I was actually going to put some sheep in the pens anyway, so that makes sense. We need two brick, a blast furnace, and some twice melted stone. I don't know if we have twice melted snow. Twelve? Tw wow, I cannot talk. Twice melted stone right now. We do have blast furnaces. And I think we have bricks somewhere. Yeah. Do I smell stone? Leave her alone. Nixie! Apologies for going muted. Um, 
Yeah, my cat's being an absolute menace, and because she's running around all hyper, the dog thinks she's a toy, and it's becoming very irritating of a constant problem to have. For the most part, the dog's learning to leave the cat alone, but when she gets this hyper and starts going after things all the time, the dog thinks it means fair game, which is not the case. And I keep having to get the dog to listen, which doesn't go over well. So she doesn't listen unless I'm practically yelling, and I can't stand yelling. All the crashing is the cat playing in her um, cardboard box house we built her. I assume she got into catnip somehow, and that's why she's going nuts, because she's usually not this crazy. But she probably found catnip somewhere. There might have been some in her new toy, I don't know if there was or wasn't. Yeah, that's kind of an ongoing thing in this house, is a never ending struggle. Of the cat. Sleep. Okay, I think that should nine should be enough for what I need. I'm hoping. I'm trying to count, but I can't really see what how many there are in the photo. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's probably about nine. Watch there be like ten, and I'm just one short, and I'll be a little ticked, but it's fine. We need this to smell so we can finish that build. Trying to focus on finishing builds so that I don't have to like go back and redecorate or redeal with them every time. I will need to make a bunch more beds. I don't have enough beds yet. I think we're only gonna do a couple more builds in it before we're finished off, and then just fill in with some pens and some um, farms and stuff like that. I think I'm not entirely sure. We could get some pre cooked food real quick with our lovely little bow. Just like that, we have some more pork chops. I was just stalling to let those finish smelting. I'll do a little tour of the village in a second since it's getting pretty close to completion. done with that one. We can place some torches around the edges. Okay, so let's do a little tour of the village before we move on to the next project, and I'm going to delete the photos I have of this one since I finished it. Delete. I think there's only two more types of houses I really wanted to build. Yeah, there's only two more types of houses I really wanted to make it into the build, so we're almost done with houses that we wanted. Granted, we did make some duplicates, but that's for sake of having it. Alright, so we have the um, blacksmith's home, we have 
a farm, a pen, we have two of these big tall homes for sake of beds and space. We have the little sm small homes here, we have a couple of those. Over here we have the uh, where the mill will be for the stonecutter villager, stonemason villager. We have the fisherman's hut right here by the well. We have another pen and another pen up there. We have another farm. We have a nice little build right here. We have a pen. We have another small house, another small house, and another small house. We have a little market and another farm out back. We have a small house, or I mean the church, not the small house. We have the church. And yeah, and we're going to build, I think, two more builds and add a couple more probably uh, farms in. And we should be good. So one of them is going to be here, which is going to be a very difficult one to copy from the photos that I have, which is going to be annoying. But we're going to do it nonetheless. Place the crafting table down here in case I need it. Get out the uh, oak wood. And let's try to f do this build. This build's complicated. So it has... Hmm. I think we'll do the front here, or the front here, the pen here, side and back. So let's start it on this corner then, like right here roughly, and hope that we have enough space. So one, doors, one, there. The pen is five by seven. So it goes back to one, two, three, four, five. We need to add some more dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it connects directly back to the corner, I believe, if I took a photo of it. Yeah, it connects directly back to the corner of the house. And then uh, one windows, one. And let's just check along the side to make sure we have the right dimensions of the house. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. We did it. Okay. So then we just have to fill in the walls and things. Let's do these ones since they'll be easy. They're just two. Window, window, the end one by the pen will be easy. Because it has a double wide window. We can cover it up with cobble across the top. A lot of these builds would look better with some cobble, mossy cobble mixed in, like the original builds had in the village. But I also don't really want to do mossy cobble mixed into everything. Because I don't want to have to make a bunch of mossy cobble, so I'm not bothering. Alright. This one's a little complicated. This is the side with the pen. So, two. This is a window. And then there's two. And then there's the door. And the door has cobble, and then we do uh, a door here. I don't have a door currently. And then we have wood going across like that. Two wood, two windows, one wood. All right, perfect. And now we have to do the front. That'll be doors, but 
there's wood here, and then there's cobble across the top. And there's cobble across the top of this, even though it won't show because the roof will start here. Nope. Well, good thing I got pushed off because I needed more of the stairs for this project. Actually, I need more wood in general, so I guess we'll have to go get some wood. Already running that low on wood. We just got a ton. Jeez, I'm crow. There still was one more build I wanted to make it into this. And probably a few more farms as well. Let's fill this in with dirt. While we can. And let's fence off the pen. And I needed more double smelted stone for this one as well, so we'll have to do that when we go back over to sleep. But for now I'm going to build up and just get this roof done, hopefully. Jeez, on that was a failed jump. Oh, that's why, because I was jumping too soon. Goodness gracious, it doesn't want me to build that one. Okay, whatever, I'm just gonna go sleep. Then I don't have to be scared of all of the mobs. And I can start smelting some stone for the double smelted stone that I need. Because I need double smelted stone slabs. So I'll need some double smelted stone and then I'll make it into slabs. Da -da -da -da. Do we really not have any more oak wood already? That's crazy. Um, I'll need some more stairs. I don't know why I have light gray wool in my inventory. We will go with this and wait a minute for that to finish. We'll need a flower pot for that build as well, I think. Yeah, we do. Um, it's currently 2.30 in the afternoon for me. I'll be getting off around 3 roughly. The reason I'm so yawning is uh, partially just my brain being a little wonky and um, because I didn't get much sleep. We need all of this smooth stone, and then we can make it into some slabs, I think, with the stone cutter. Yeah, we can. Is it an even trade, though? Because it's- so if you have nine, and you make it in the, uh, crafting table, it would be, uh,
18. And if you made it in the uh, stone cutter, oh, it's even because you make you just have 18 in the stone cutter as well. So it doesn't matter how I make it. Sometimes this is a little more efficient in the stone cutter. It probably is if you have an uneven number, like not the amount, not the correct number for making. Um, if you don't have the correct number for making slabs in the crafting table, it'd be a less even amount. Hopefully that's enough. If not, I will start some more smelting. I need some more coal. Alright, let's try to finish this build up. Does it have the same upside down, right side up style that all the other ones have? Yeah. Let's get back up here. There we go. But there is a chimney somewhere. It's right above the door for the like pen area. It's somewhere right in here. The door's right here. It looks like it's not this row, but the next one. So it looks like it's right here. Why it's here, I don't know, but it looks like it's there. And then we have the little cobblestone wall as the topper for it. This and then like this. It seems like the chimney part was higher than the roof, not about the same height as the roof. I can't tell doesn't really matter that much. I can probably do it this way where I just do like that. Do I have more stairs? I don't have more stairs again. Why do I keep running out of stairs? Can I reach it from here? Not quite. Hopefully another 40 will be enough. Doesn't seem like it will be though, looking at the size of the roof that I have to do. What on earth is up with this not listening to me?
There we go. We finished it. We need uh, doors. Now we need to do the floor part, which is a little complicated. We need this, and we need wood. It's um. Doing it like this for sake of not wasting slabs. I should have enough regardless, but I'm doing it like this as a means of using less slabs for the project. I think the rest is just straight oak wood. Correct. And then there's a little... Uh, I'll use this slab to have. There's a little table here with a flower pot. And then there's one of those little tables with the stairs here. needs a pressure plate. And then let's put the stained glass in. I don't have a uh, I don't have any moderators at all and I don't have any extensions on. I haven't set up any stream extensions or anything like that. This was mostly going to be a hobby, not a long-term thing, and turned into a semi-long-term thing. lighting and do it like this as well to make sure that this is lit enough and then I think that's it for this house and then we can just add the outside ones we normally do And then we can add a little bit more light in the edge here for now because I don't know what I'll do around here and I don't need things. Um, I've been streaming for... I'm not even sure honestly. I don't remember when I started. I don't have a uh, PlayStation Plus, which is the only way that I can play multiplayer on Minecraft on this version, which is like $60 a year that I don't have, or $70 a year or something like that, that I don't have right now. I don't make very much, and what I do make has to usually go back into my household appliances and a bunch of other expenses. Why did I say household appliances? Household expenses? I'm trying to toss down some more torches so this is a little bit better lit up.
Luckily, part of this is against a like big chasm for the mine, so I don't have to light up quite as much. And I don't want to light up too much, in the, or else I won't be able to find uh, zombie villagers to bring into cure. Okay, so I can delete the photos I have for that one because I did that house. I don't want to do another one of the tall house, so I can delete those photos. What I did to be able to have templates, since I can't find templates online, was I took a bunch of photos of the houses that I wanted to build. So I have to like look at photos on my phone and then delete them afterwards. I don't need more smoothstone for the project, but I'll let that turn into smoothstone anyways. I'm running way too low on wood though, I don't know if I'll have enough for this next build. Does it have a bunch of wood? Oh, it does have a bunch of wood for the roof at least, so I'm probably going to have to run over and mine some more wood. Let's quickly go get some wood. But yeah, I don't know how long I've been streaming, um, it's been at least a month, but not very long for me. Um, it started off as just a hobby and it's really just been not, I never really thought it was going to go professional in any way, but I guess since I'm like a third of the way to the uh, ability to grant VIP, I guess it sort of is professional in a way. Um, I still don't really average enough viewers and things to get most of the uh, like affiliate or to get um, the access for VIP. I believe I have to average three viewers and get 50 followers for the first milestone marker. I don't have, I would say you could look at my VODs channel to find it, but I didn't start uh, the VODs channel until late either um, because I forgot that I can export it to YouTube pretty easily. So I started the VOD channel a little late in this as well. I mean, if you think about uh, lengthwise, uh, I usually don't stream every day, and I'm on what today is episode I think 18 of this series alone, uh, which I didn't start until after I'd streamed already a few times. Um, so, just in this series alone, I probably have about a month of streaming in. I may stream tomorrow as well, I'm not sure. Depends on if my meds make it a little funky or not. And if I have anything else to do during the day, which I usually don't since I can't work during the day when I don't have anyone to watch the dog. I did have a little more money from birthday money, but I ended up putting it into, um, like two birthday gifts and then the rest I put aside to try to save towards the things I'm saving up for. So, I don't have enough to do PlayStation Plus for multiplayer.
Nixie, there's nothing to bark at, baby girl. Try to jump across that. But yeah, um, I don't have any moderators, so that's why any of the moderator watch wouldn't work, even if I did have any ad add ons to the stream, like stream elements. And I haven't really done much research on how to set up Twitch to set up more extensions and things for while I'm on. I do use Streamlabs at times, but I can't use it through this because of the fact that um, it's a direct stream from the PlayStation. I can't stream it through Streamlabs through the PlayStation. But Streamlabs is how I set up like the donation link and things that I have in the about section. Uh, as well as making my own images and things. There's a lot of sample images that you can get for free or cheap um, to use as banners for your about section on your Twitch channel. But not many of them are very interesting um, and fit very well with like the setup that I had. And uh, a lot of them didn't actually size right when I was using them so I just made my own and resized them and everything since I'm pretty e pretty used to making things based on just simple dimensions and simple setups with my apps on my phone. I edit photos a lot like that anyways for my YouTube thumbnails and things when I was doing YouTube more often. So just about the only thing that I've actually set up is the about section on the channel. and a basic setup to the VODs channel that's uploading a few videos a week to try to get some traffic that way but I don't particularly think I would hit 50 followers at any point in time which is why I haven't really like professionally set up the rest of the stream and things and I won't be able to stream from Streamlabs since I don't have a PC I can stream from um, so I won't be able to use that setup that I have since I do have some overlays and things for using Streamlabs. I just don't have any way to use Streamlabs through the way that I normally stream. It's all complicated. Hopefully we have enough wood now for the rest of this project. I'm just taking out this entire forest little by little. Pick up some of the apples. And find our way back home. We'll probably have to build a bridge across this water at some point since I do cross over here sometimes. Alright, let's get this last build for the village finished up and do some decoration for the village and see if we can get that finalized a little more before I have to get off in a little bit. We can put away some of the excess stuff that we got from that and put away the apples. Hello horse, you are in my face. I don't think I need any double smelted stone for this one. No I don't. Okay, good. So we can put that away. Um, we also will need to make some more beds, yellow beds specifically, to finish off that. So let's do that. We're going to need more yellow flowers to do yellow beds with, actually. Let's make as many as we can right now. 
I think we'll make beds and then make them into yellow beds because I think that's more effective since it uses one Yeah, because I can get one bed for every piece of dye if I do it that way, versus having to have, what, uh, triple the amount of dye to make it into the colored wool, I'm thinking. But I don't know. I could be wrong. My brain doesn't process things very well. So now we have some more beds to also add for decoration as well. It's going to be night again in a second. We did that one, we didn't do this one, we need a bed in this one. Let's place in some of the beds. We did this one, I'm sure, pretty sure. Yep. We did that one, we did this one, we did this one. I'm gonna sleep in this one real quick. We didn't put a bed in this one, but normally it doesn't have a bed, but we're going to put a bed anyways. We're actually going to put two beds, and then we'll put this, the um, stone cutter right there. And then we're going to put some beds in here. Because this one can fit a few beds. This is why I like this one. Put a bed like this. And a bed like... this and we'll put a little decorative block of some sort there just to kind of have a placeholder and then we'll put another bed in when we have more beds but for now we'll have to find some more yellow flowers around here somewhere to do that part or just do bone meal until we get yellow flowers there's a couple around here Here's a patch. That should be way more than we ever need, but that way we have some for using for decorative projects. build this last house and then let's add some decoration and then we can work on the wall another time probably since I don't think we'll have time for it today. I think we'll do a pen here. I think we'll do uh, the house that I'm thinking of right here. I think we'll uh, expand this platform a little and do the house right here. So let's expand this. I might need more dirt to do so though, which is fine, I can just go up the mountain and grab some with my shovel. Yeah, I'll just go up and grab some, instead of having to go back to my chest for some. We'll just shave off a bit of the mountain. Our stables look really good from far away, and most of the builds down there actually do look okay from far away. The stack should be plenty. Perfect. Let's go fill that in.
do it like that and we'll put a couple torches down for now and then I think we'll put the house right here so let's do that we need the wood to make as the edges let's make the doorway first as usual so we'll put the doorway right here I think We need end cap ones, and so we have, alright, now the side is going to be just three, and the back will be the four, perfect. The side's easy to do on both sides, so I can do that. like this with the window and then we'll do the doors there and then the other side will be the same as this side we just made and then uh, the back is two and then a uh, two window awesome okay so we need some, oop, I thought that was cobblestone in my hand, not cobblestone stairs, whoopsies. Alright, do we have any stairs? We need more stairs. Let's make some more stairs. Where did I leave the crafting table? Or did, Yeah, I did leave it. I was going to say, did I leave it down somewhere? We need more doors. And then we need a, a bunch more stairs. That should be plenty. Can you still glitch up through the doors to get up top? You can. Nice. That's helpful. Let's do it like that. And let's get some stairs. And let's figure out what the front is. Oh, I did it wrong. There's two wood inwards right there. There's two wood like this. And then it's cobble. And the first inward stair, upside down stair, I mean, is on the edge of the cobble. Why does it never let me place that correctly? It's the same pattern as usual, upside down, right side up. And then across. And then upside down, right side up. Upside down, right side up. Cobble. Regular. all the way across. I'm rushing this one a little bit and not talking through it as much because I just want to get it done. Because this is the last build we're going to do in this village, I think, because it should give us plenty of villagers for now. Um, I do want to add a, a bookshelf house, but I'll have to find the template for it at some point to do it.
so I'll leave space for it in the wall that I make, but we'll leave space for adding builds if we need to in the wall around it, but for now these are going to be all the builds that we do for it, because I think this is plenty. Now where's the photo of the inside that I took? It was all uh, oak plank floor. We need cobble to fill in the edges here. Oh, I'm out of cobble. That's not good. Honestly, I'm just going to grab the few pieces I need from this little section here. Because I really don't want to go all the way back to the chest when I'm almost done. Ta-da, we have plenty. Add the windows. And then there was a stair, and there'll be a bed here, and there was a chest here, and there was, um, there wasn't anything in the corner, but we'll leave it like that. Okay, and we should have it lit enough that nothing will spawn inside it. Now we have to make sure we light up the outside. We really need to do the posts here and there, but I don't know if we have enough uh, fences. We have enough to do a few, and we'll have to do strip duck uh, manually. Sakes, just do it correctly. My phone just went off for no reason. At least I don't see a notification, so I think it's no reason. Make sure the village is lit enough that we won't have any incidents of zombies and such spawning. We'll change it out to post once we have the walls down and we don't have to worry much about any incidents. Alright. We did it. We have a village. It's not fully finished, we'll have to do the well and we'll have to do some other things, but it's started. And for the most part, it's finished. And what we can do, since it's nighttime, is try to get a couple villagers in it as a last huzzah before I get off since I have to get off. So let's get rid of all this stuff into the chest for the village. Let's put away the flowers for now uh, because I'm not going to bother making that. Let's get our bow to get rid of enemies from afar that are in the way. And let's grab the weakness potions and the golden apples, and let's see if we can get a couple zombie villagers into this. We're just going to trap them in houses and then cure them, and then hope that that works okay. I'm trying to make sure we have enough light. I think we do, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm like paranoid placing them. Just to double, triple check. Uh, like here looks too dark. I'm not sure. Piggy, you want to go in with your friend? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go in with your friend. Let me open the gate. Go in with your friend. 
go in. No? Be that way. Zombie villagers, anyone? Zombie villagers at all? These are plain zombies. We need zombie villagers. We've had a few spawn nearby, so we should be able to get them. Whether or not we'll happen to get any tonight is another story. For now, we'll kill off some of these skellies for some arrows. And keep wandering to get more things to spawn and hope that it'll spawn some zombie villagers because of it. I need to eat. We need zombie villagers, that's our goal. Trying to find zombie villagers, trying to get some to spawn. Knowing my luck, when I need them, they're not going to spawn. When I don't need them, they spawn like crazy. Because I don't see any yet. We have peaceful mobs spawning. We have plenty of regular zombies spawning. It's fine if I have to lead them a distance, but I need them somewhere. I don't want to have to lead them across my entire setup, which is why I'm not looking on the other platform that we normally have mobs spawning on. Because leading them that far has so many risks, including despawning. Oh shoot. That's a creeper. I don't need you, I need your zombie brethren. Come on, why won't they spawn? They spawn any other time. I don't want to spend all night hopelessly searching for zombies that aren't going to spawn. That's a baby zombie. It's not a need. In fact, that's like the last type of zombie that I would want. Why won't they spawn? Yeah, yeah, I see you. That was a miss. That one wasn't. Really? Of course my sword breaks. This is too much. I just asked for zombie villagers. Why is that so difficult? It's never difficult any other time. Run away. Where am I getting shot from? I'm maining my bow because I don't want to deal with these mobs. I just want zombie villagers. Why are they so hard to find today? If I went over to the other platform, I'd probably get some to spawn, but then that's really far to have to take them. No, that was a waste of one of the potions I need. I guess we'll need to make some more weakness pots, because I accidentally threw that when I was trying to get to my bow. Damn it. Unless we can cure them both with one weakness pot, which is what you're supposed to be able to do, but it's a little difficult when you're trying to cure them in separate houses. Goodness gracious, everything's going wrong. Looks like I won't get the zombie villagers I need for today, and we'll have to do that on the next stream. Because I don't see any 
and daytime's approaching. That sucks. But it is what it is. We'll have to find some more somewhere. I guess next time we can finish uh, decorating the village and we can uh, um, try to find some zombie villagers to cure since we didn't find any today. Always find them when you don't need them. Can't find them when you need them. That's how it works. Let's heal these. Oh, not what I meant to hit. And make some new armor and a new sword. Before we get off for the day. A new sword needed. Do we have any armor? Not particularly. Uh, what, what do we need? We need a uh, helmet and boots. Let's get some more iron on us since we need it. And some more coal. Good enough. Um, I guess next time we'll have to do hopefully the finalizing of getting some villagers in there and then we can make a rough outline of the wall. Um, let me delete the photos I don't need for templates anymore before I forget. Alright. Yeah, so hopefully next time I'll be able to get a wall going and get uh, some villagers started in there by curing a couple zombie villagers. Um, and then we'll probably do some enchanting since we have enough levels for enchanting. And hopefully we'll get some traits going. So... For now, I guess that's all for today. Um, I have to get off, so I will see you guys. What? Why did he just spawn? What are you? You don't have anything useful. Um, so yeah, for now, that's all for today. I will see you guys next time, which might be tomorrow, and it might be Friday. Depends on what's going on. Um, I'll try to stream tomorrow. If not, I'll see you guys Friday. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!